Hello, welcome to DTIP on 2020. First of all, I would like to thank all the people who made the, this symposium happening and give us the opportunity to share our work. I'm Munira bin Gashir, uh, a PhD Libyan student at University of Malta. My research mainly is in the area of RF MEMS resonators, especially in piezo MOMS resonators. And I'm happy to show you part of my research work. And this presentation uh, titled Experimental Validation of Tuning Mechanisms Applied on ALN Piezoelectric Contour Mode MEMS Resonators. And now we will start. This uh, the research outline, background, research objectives, research design, design and simulation, fabrication and characterization, conclusion and future work. Background. MEMS resonators operating in the lateral mode and with electro, elect, the piezoelectric actuations have been successfully implemented with applications including filters and clock generators as a replacement of the quartz crystal component. The shift in the resonant frequency due to environmental conditions such as temperature and pressure variations or fabrication process tolerance such as those due to geometrical dimensions and material properties variations is still considered to be a drawback for MEMS resonators. Therefore, the capability of fine-tuning the frequency of a resonator is an important feature in some high-precision applications. Using the piezo mons process, which consists of a 0.5 micrometer aluminium nitride layer over an SOI structure having a thickness of 10 micrometer, is preferred due to design simplicity and low cost. Research Objects Electrothermal and voltage tuning. In this work, characterization of the resonant frequency and quality factor of the fabricated MEM resonators will be presented over a temperature variation induced via ovenization. The variation of the resonant frequency and the quality factor has also been investigated exper experimentally for DC voltage tuning. Research design. This simplified diagram show you here the designed resonator. The, uh, it's very clear to show you here the um, electrode and the sense connected to the V1 and V2 respectively. And there is the ground and also T1 and T2 connected to the thermal elements. The design resonator dimensions is 250 by 350 micrometer and the tethers dimensions are 20 by 38 micrometer and uh, this, this design resonator was designed using and fabricated using piezo MOMS uh, process so we can see the layer SOI oxide and a aluminium nitride and the metal uh, layer aluminium and chrome mainly this resonator resonates in the fifth order mode, contour mode, with a frequency 61.348 MHz. Design and simulation. Using Coventerware MIMIC simulations, model and direct harmonic analysis was performed to define resonator's characteristics, including quality factor and losses and to deduce open and closed circuit resonant frequency. This, uh, the uh, we, the well-known equation of quality factor, of course there are other, uh, other effects uh, that contribute in the value of the quality factor, but here uh, in our case we focused on the anchor losses. Mm, the, these equations are used in the fast PZE simulation to deduce the uh, lump circuit parameters and open and closed circuit uh, resonant frequencies. This shows you the MEMEC model analysis models to just to see the, the fifth mode and to see the uh, resonant frequency for the fifth mode. 
the mimic was performed of a different design dimensions, length, spend, and variant ether length and width it to achieve the targeted resonant frequency and minimizing out other resonant modes. The model analysis, excluding the piezoelectric physics effect, shows the first mode shape having a resonant frequency of 59.83 MHz. And this is the video you, to show you the, the, this mode. As you can see, the, the resonant mode here in the fifth order. Design and simulation anchor losses. A meshed symmetrical finite element analysis model for the anchor losses simulation, including symmetry, were done to reduce the time consumptions, of course, and the quiet boundary conditions to eliminate the reflection of the acoustic waves. They were applied on the substrate cubic, the, cube, the, this, the substrate cube and the, where the quiet boundary conditions were applied on the sides and the symmetry boundary conditions were applied on this half of the resonator. Of course, to reach this mesh size, a resonant frequency and quality factor mesh convergence study w was done for the design of the resonator uh, obtained from anchor losses analysis. So different mesh element size, 10 and 15 and 20, and we figure out that the, uh, the mesh element size 10 with the 50 number, uh, number of frequency points uh, gave, uh, was the best choice to go, uh, achieve resonant frequency of 60.367 MHz with an acceptable quality factor of 2,874. Fast PZE and temperature variation effect Performing direct harmonic analysis and fast PCE over long range of frequency in a faster response to extract the it helped us to extract the lamp circuit parameters. As we can see from this table, the motional resistance and inductor and capacitance and also the series and uh, parallel frequency frequencies. And uh, also uh, by performing the MIMIC model analysis and applying T-fixed boundary conditions on all resonator process materials to, uh, to record the temperature variation effect on the resonant frequency, we will be we, as we will show it later on. Fabrication and characterizations. Uh, first of all, I have to say different modes, so the electrode shapes, with and without heating elements were designed and fabricated in order to uh, to choose the perfect match resonant resonator for the target resonant frequency and this micrograph here shows the the fabricated resonator in the which works in the fifth mode uh, fifth contour mode and uh, gives us a resonant frequency of uh, 61.348 megahertz as we can see here, it's very clear to recognize the uh, electrode. Also, we can see the tethers and the heating elements from both sides. And uh, the uh, SOI layer around the resonator and the, and the resonator. And aluminum light, uh, nitride layer, the piezoelectric in the green, underneath the electrode and sense. And this is the oxidation layer here on both sides. The black area is the, the trench uh, cavity. This time we made, made sure to enlarge the trench cavity enough to, in order to uh, guarantee a total release for the resonators. Fabrication and characterization. This diagram shows a comparison between the resonant frequency for the designed and fabricated uh, resonator. As we can see here, uh, uh, there is an agreement 
on the uh, simu the f simulated frequency which is 60.3 and uh, 67 megahertz and the measured is 61.3 and 48 megahertz publication and characterization temperature variation effect um, uh, play, uh, uh, place uh, as we said uh, the temperature effect on the resonator was done uh, via inducing by via ovonization effect mainly the resonator was placed on an, on the oven which called the temperature chamber vouch VT4004 temperature which has a temperature control from minus 40 to 180 celsius in our experiment here we have, we applied from 5 celsius to 85 celsius so we just placed the resonator inside the oven and we connected the sense to the VNA, the voltage network analyzer, which is connected to the PC to record the effect on the temperature, on the uh, effect of the temperature and the frequency. So uh, here from the figure we can see there is a, a linear decrease in the resonant frequency simulation and measured versus the temperature. Of the range of 278 to 358 Kelvin, what? And the inset shows the transmission magnitude plot for different temperature and steps of 5 Kelvin. Publication characterizations uh, the voltage effect here. Uh, in in the uh, in measurement, we connected the resonator from the sense side to the VNA, and from the electrode to the uh, voltage supply via, indu via inductor. And uh, 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 frequency change were recorded due to the voltage change, as we can see from this diagram here. There is a monotonic decrease in the resonant frequency over a voltage tuning range from 1 to 9 voltage. The inset shows the transmission magnitude plots of different tuning voltage in, step of, in steps of 1 voltage here. Conclusion Exper Experimental results for a piezo mums resonators were presented and an acceptable quality factor is achievable using an ALM based process. The feasibility of thermal and voltage tuning has also been shown experimentally and this is an agreement with finite element analysis simulation. It was also observed that the quality factor remains approximately constant for both thermal and voltage tuning in the range considered. Both tuning techniques can be potentially be used for compensations of process variation in high precision applications. Future work Temperature tuning is possible using thermal elements. Resonator and thermal element optimizations are under progress. Thank you all.